give up. Mm. Too many apples, guys. Too many apples. Here, like 10 billion apples. It's no good for the tree. Oh, shit. I'm not trying to grow it a certain way. Yeah, so I'm just trimming back some apples. Doing a lot of yard work today. I'm over my lawn. And I'm going to start building my arcade cabinet. More details on Monday. Oh, shit. I'll put them full. Turbo apple cutter. That should be good. Alright. I just don't want these apples like gonna be burning on the garage, you know, rest, resting on my garage roof. So that's why I'm cutting the ones back that are laying on the on my roof of a, my garage. Whew. It's a process. Yeah, so I got, I got a little bit more uh, trimming to do. Some more apples laying on the garage. I'm gonna do that now. And I also just noticed. I know my neighbor wouldn't really care. We're like really cool, but uh, some of my apples are roaming across my fence and onto my my neighbor's property. See. Got some good apples that are gonna fall on his land. So what I'm gonna do is uh, trim that shit back as well. My little pesky fucking apple tree. This is only five years old, man. And oh, never, don't mind my my kid's uh, slip and slide. I hung it up up there to dry. She's she's uh, useful in more than one way. The little apple tree. But uh, no, these apples aren't even ripe yet. So I'm just trimming some of these back. But five minutes later, all right, looking good. And I clean up my friggin' mess. Apples all over the friggin' place. And they're gonna mow my shit. Look at this crap. I got some shaggy. Yeah, it's freaking. It's been hot all week, man. I haven't been wanting to come out here and mow the lawn. Shit, man. My hydrangea's going berserk. Yeah, I gotta cut this back a little bit too. Man, when you have kids and work full time and want to make YouTube videos, it's uh sometimes you know gotta sacrifice a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I have all day to get her done. It only take me another hour or so. I'm acting like it's a big crisis, but nah. Get her done, I man. I just haven't wanted to come out here. It's been like 100 degrees, no shit, all week. Yeah, so I'm like sweating my ass off. Uh, <laughs> picked up uh, two five-gallon buckets full of uh, semi-ripened Granny Smith apples. <laughs> In a few more weeks, they'll be fully ripened. But um, yeah, these are all that pretty much came off of crappy branches and stuff that's fell on the floor. But I'm going to leave these in the buckets. I'm going to leave them from um, the local wildlife because they uh, come into my yard and and take some you know man so i help feed the, the little local animals we got some uh, marsupials around here in the form of possums <laughs> and uh i actually have a wild uh pablo the possum that likes to crawl on um, the edge line of my fence and like cling on to the trees of the branch it's really cool man to see him at night but yeah he'll come in and uh grab some apples but um as long as they don't you know damage my trash cans which i've learned to just deal with i just put my trash cans in my garage man whatever man you know we've displaced these animals here on long island we used to have so many in the last 20 years since i've been here 25 years i've seen so many damn uh forests and local um parks freaking cut down for from bowls and condos and crap so all these animals displaced man we used to have pond, more ponds and amphibians but uh through friggin poisonous fertilizers and we've wiped out so much of a uh, population of uh, amphibians and the local and local turtles i mean gone everything's gone here. that's why we have like a an exceeding um mosquito problem because there's no animals left to eat them you know what i mean and, and um so now we have to like poison our friggin yards with um anti-mosquito -mosqui shit but um yeah i, I don't i don't use that i, I found like a, a organic mix to spray on my yard that keeps the mosquito population like zero in my yard, which is, I, I, you know, every eight weeks I'll apply a solution onto my yard. But yeah, man, time to mow this sh sucker. And uh, yeah, man, you know, it's funny, like nature's bounty on one side of, of the earth and on the opposite side of the earth, like I have an excess of like shit here, 
I call it shit, you know? So much food that I don't even know what to do with it. And uh, on the other side of the earth, you, know, you have people that would, would uh, shoot you with a machine gun for, and take your apples for this shit. Like, it's crazy how unfair the world is. It's just how, how it is. this crazy world is. Nobody wants to help each other. It is what it is. It's uh, Someone at work told me it's uh, the circle of life and like the human humankind. It's just crazy, you know? If, if you look at it like from one giant God looking down on us, that's how, that's how he would see it, the circle of life. It's like one giant human documentary. We're, we're all animals here. <laughs> you hear my kids screaming. I don't know if you can hear my kids screaming in the house. But yeah, let me uh, move this lawn. Those of you that saw my bonsai tree uh, picture in the community tab, this is how it looks, you know, in the pot. I need to give it a little TLC. I gotta get, break some of these uh, older branches out, do a little, little shape up. But as you can see, I'm trying to grow it on a curve. See how, I mean, you can't really see it. But it, it grows to the left. I want it to grow like this, uh, kind of like how um, Daniel LaRusso's uh, gi looked, you know, Miyagi-Do with the, the bonsai logo. That Miyagi's uh, wife, I think, made the patch, yeah. But yeah, no, I, before I mow the lawn, I'm gonna friggin' my hydrangea and my umbrella bamboo are having a fight over here for, for resource, for real estate. So I'm gonna trim back some of the hydrangea where they, uh, they get knotted up here and make a little space for the two of them. Uh, this hydrangea can battle against anything, <laughs> even the bamboo. Hey, guess what? My Tundra Giant tree is self-recording this for me. There we go. I just wanted to create a little uh, separation between the two plants, and uh, this way uh, next year they'll battle it out. They'll they'll continue to, to uh, clash for for um, for space, but um, you just have to maintain the shapes that you want. And uh, I've been slacking with this one. I have some work to do. Um, in August it becomes top heavy, and that's my fault. I just need a little bit of uh, pruning, pruning, a little bit of maintenance. I'll get to it. But yeah, man, here's my uh, little golden grass that I have on the side of the house. It's like the perfect. Um, plant to have for when you have like full shade these things grow in the full shade and they give off this golden look really pretty you can't really see it right now because it's like overcast but um yeah it's really cool and um yeah this is one of my favorite friggin evergreens called the tundra giant <laughs> so anyway yeah I, let me get back to uh mowing the lawn yeah really quick whoo she shines up pretty good um you know with a little mowing you know <laughs> But um, I also wanted to point out, like, on oh my bonsai, that uh, this little uh, grass right here, it's actually like an Irish moss. I'm trying to colonize the pot with, like, this natural, like, lawn, you know, around the tree. So, yeah, it's a work in progress. It's a California tree, so it can withstand drought. I just got to make sure, I just have to protect it during the wintertime from frost. And she uh, does well in my New York winters, thanks to global warming. Oh, so crazy, man. California tree growing in New York. Turbo Joe's doing it right here. This is... In a, in azalea in the springtime this whole thing is is red beautiful flowers bonsai i think i may eventually put this in the front of my house and uh let it let it expand i'm not sure what i want to do with my california redwood yet but yeah no i got everything done it's so hot it's like midday right now but um i also wanted to point out that uh i leave my clippings like uh on the ground and i just tuck them in and it acts, as it dries up, it, it acts as a natural mulch. As you can see, like, I don't ever get any friggin' weeds because it stays, like, the ground stays protected. Look at this shit, man. Fucking douchebags that walk by, throw a bottle over my fence. Hey, gotta love New York. Douchebags all over the world, though. But, um, some people are just jealous, man. You have bad apples in real life. Bad apples on YouTube. You gotta watch out for those bad apples, guys. Have an awesome day. I got something, one more thing I wanted to show you. 